No worry, and mouth. Stressed your throat out? Huh? You stressed your throat out, so it's like raw. What? No, no my throat isn't raw, nigga. Oh, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> type of question is that to ask a real nigga such as myself? Is your throat raw? Why you got a dental dam or something? No. Oh. A dental dam. It's not raw. I eat pussy raw, nigga. For no fucking. You eat pussy raw, but won't fuck raw. So, facts. I just he's facts. Off, or it just doesn't facts. make sense. Where you found this guy? Facts. He's off. <laughs> facts. We rolling? Mm-hmm. Too much has been happening in the rap world. It's time to go back to some simpler times. I know this was your shit, Maul. That was my shit. I ain't gonna hold you. See, you secretly had to sing this in your room. Couldn't go outside. All the small, small things. things. You probably truth added your name cares, in it. Truth brings. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's where I fall off too. That's all you need to know. Because <laughs> everybody else starts rocking out. Once they know you know the first two bars. For sure. They're like, oh, okay, it's cool. At my show. Oh my God, wait. I can't even escape the Kardashians. Are they in this? They was in this video? No. Travis Barker. Oh. Can't even just listen to Turn Blink-182 right in peace without carry me home. your family getting involved. My family. I doom, 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 I doom. Chris is like a second mother. Ah, oh, yes, 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 Rory. Those were the lovely sounds of... Was that Blink-182? It was Blink-182. Blink-182. They were playing like... This feels like a little TRL nostalgic moment. No, I'll really TRL you right, real quick. They were hey, playing... you. Don't ever TRL me, buddy. Total, re- total request live you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds kinky. <laughs> Yo, shorty TRL me last night. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, that means touch, rim, and lick. Yo. <laughs> We not, just, uh, what, this is the horniest podcast I'm not on earth. starting this podcast like this. I'm gonna clear the room with some suicide music that was played on TRL who was this uh, Green still Day Blink, still Blink-182 oh, Green Day had the best suicide music ever Green Day was I don't know weird. Paramore Paramore might I, that's more my generation though Green Day was weird because they made like suicide music no they made cool like alternative rock music then one day they were like this isn't working let's put on mascara and become just, alternative emo. rock is just cool suicide music what was that album? It was like, you're uh, happy Green right Day before had. you do it. Uh, Dookie. That was a funny name, but that was a great album. Dookie? That, that's a classic album. From who? Green Day. I don't remember Dookie. But this was before they put the fucking eyeshadow on and became emo. And then they started doing the Super Bowl, so it worked. But <laughs> like Blink the real one, alternative people. Would, Green Day or Bleak 182? Mm. I don't think Blink-182 is a better album than Dookie, but they went into the pop emo world after that. Blink-182 kind of stayed themselves for a few albums. Yeah. Even though they were kind of pop. Whatever happened to the other two members of Blink-182? Like, what's the bass player doing? He can't uh, date He can't date uh, a Jenner? Uh, no, he's a little too old for a Jenner, I believe. But um, Fair enough. Tiger wasn't. Know. No, the, the drummer and the bass player from <laughs> from Blink-182 is <laughs> definitely older than Tiger. Well, Travis Scott, not Travis Scott, Travis, Travis Barker. Barker. Oh my God, I can't even, too much going on. Yeah. I forgot the lead singer's name and the bass player's name. Uh, Yeah, forgive us. I don't remember the names unless Damaris wants to pull pull it up. She's tweeting. <laughs> Damaris don't care today. Damaris told us some sick shit she used to do. Yo. I, I don't want to let that go before we <laughs> I, forget about it. No, we can go right away, right into that. business on this so fucking Damaris, podcast. So D- Damaris informed us that she would make up the bed when she was at her Obu, Obu, because she, uh, well, she did, I don't want to in, incriminate her. So this is old, old stuff. Well, she didn't say if she was the main or the side in that situation, though. She didn't clarify who she uh, was yes, in that. Yes, yes, she, she did. So I don't want to say it was. Were you the old, main? Yes. Okay, so I had a, 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 a whore for a, a boyfriend. So aren't they the best? Oh man, gotta love a good whore boyfriend. <laughs> so Damaris informed us that. She would, in making up the bed when mm-hmm. she was at her boyfriend's house, she would uh, pluck some of her hair out of her scalp. Yes. And roll it up into little balls. That's painful. And put it underneath the pillows after she made up the bed. So that in case uh, he decided to have another friend over, uh, they would find these balled up strands of hair under the pillowcase, and which would cause turmoil and fucking... 
here's here's the thing. Um, here's the, where this is misguided. I thought she was the side in that situation because as the main, I'm just going to tell you the yeah. side chick I bring over is not, not going to care about your care. hair yeah, in the I, bed. I, I found that out the I found that out the hard way. Uh, Very true. She didn't I thought, care. She didn't I thought care Damaris was maybe, you know, wanted to move into the slot as the main and was like, let me get him caught real quick so he can just come be with me. But oh, even God, one no. better, the guy in yeah, that you situation, that type. <laughs> the, the, the man in that situation, I don't think that he would care to explain to the side like whose yeah. hair that is. Because if you have this side, you don't explain to the side. Sides don't get explanations. The whole time she knew uh, who I was. They she do if they have leverage over you. Whose hair it was. <laughs> she didn't give a fuck. She knew who it was. She... When, actually, that's really a funny story I'll tell you guys one day, but actually the only reason why she actually wanted to fuck my boyfriend is because she wanted her lick back. So that was... you uh, fucked her boyfriend? I didn't fuck her boyfriend. She thought you she fucked thought. her boyfriend? I stole somebody that she had a crush on that she thought belonged to her and he didn't when I was in high school. And then, so she wanted her lick back. So she went and wanted to fuck my boyfriend. I mean, I appreciate the persistence. So that's she wanted her lick back so she woman. licked your boyfriend? His back. Yeah. The back. Yeah. I told him that she only wanted him because of me. I thought I was like, she don't really like you. Like, don't get your head gassed up. I just let you know, he also did not care about the reason. No, he didn't. He's pussy all over. He doesn't care. He was. I don't care why you gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, give it to me. I don't care why you gave it to me. <laughs> She only wants to fuck it. Okay, fine. (laughs) Women always swear that we care about the reason behind us. Like, use me as a tool. Yeah. Use me as a a, a stick in the war, like, to get back at your uh, girlfriend or your homegirl. Like, yeah, I don't care. Use me. She only wants to fuck you because she saw the headlines about the Stitcher deal. Okay. She's not getting any of the money, so. Yeah, I only want to fuck her because her ass was fat. Like, (laughs) we're even. (laughs) Both pretty shallow in this situation. (laughs) Oh, man. With that being said, I uh, want to send prayers and condolences to uh, the people over in Ukraine. <laughs> yes. In uh, Russia. I'm not uh, Great well, segue. No, I'm bad. <laughs> well, I just, you know, I, I figured we lead with the with the funnies and get to, uh, yeah. you know, more more sad news. Uh, uh, Russia has declared war uh, mm-hmm. on Ukraine. Uh, so prayers and, uh, you know, thoughts with anybody over there affected by the war, anybody that has family in those areas, um, you know, it's just tough coming out of a pandemic mm-hmm. and then having to deal with uh, a war. Um, seems like you can't get a break. You know what I mean? So here we are. I, this is going to sound really ignorant. Um, and I am just asking, and you can flood my mentions if you'd like with real answers. What does the UN do? I feel like the UN, wouldn't they be the people to step in and be like, hey, you guys should relax? I think they tried <laughs> that, but I think uh, President Putin... Is just he, wasn't trying to hit. Is he the there. president of Russia? Yes. Oh, I thought he was like a dictator or some shit. I'm listen, man. You'd be a dictator ignorant. and be the president. I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess. Trump was one. And Trump but. Yo. <laughs> not I'm today. Not, I'm not. not I'm today. not trying to egg him on. I'm, I'm sorry. Not. You I'm not going. Yes, you I spoke to Donnie last night. Everything's cool. Don't worry about it. We're good. You uh, spoke to Donnie last yeah, night? Of course. Man, right there. He Sit signed up for me. whatever that new Twitter that. Donald yeah, Trump is starting. Don, Don got the new Twitter. I can't DM'd wait. To, them. I can't wait to create my account. And give the world some salacious news. Are you guys gonna sign up for Twitter Blue, which allows you to uh, edit your tweet, like go back and edit your tweets? I think, if I'm not mistaken, so in case you have like errors, spelling errors, and stuff like that. Oh, I thought it was in case there was tweets that were gonna get you canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you go back and do that? I, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. If you could no, edit, it's right? Just right before. Yes. No. You can edit it right before you send it. So it shows you a preview of now. your tweet before you send it. I could do that now. <laughs> I can edit my tweet before I send it. They now. need to do that with text messages with me when I drink. Yeah, like you they need to make it. I need, I need an eye message. Of course, they're not like lusty. They're angry. Oh. <laughs> your, drunk, your drunk messages? Oh yeah. Like come on and give me that tail. No, no, no. no. It's oh. more like fuck you. I hate you. Oh, you go there. <laughs> but okay, I miss scissor. you. But I miss you. I love you. But it's, I love you though. Loving Still you. fuck you though. You like you tell I'm girls like loving you. you Who do you fuck in the city when I'm not there? But I'm always in the city, and they still <laughs> that fuck was other a people. Ask question. <laughs> oh, Drake really. Had well, niggas. there's a few things we have to address. Here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick fucking question, man. Well, how, how do you think it feels when you're in the city and you still fuck someone else? <laughs> I'm there, like I'm there. I'm in the city, and I know who you fucking. How about that? You ever know? We who in the spot together. Yeah. You ever know who she fucking? and You can't say nothing about it. Oh, yeah, that's all the time. Because I still have that weird old man code in me where you have to hold it down. 
You gotta hold it down. You can't ever I, bring up and mention it to her that you know who she, who else she's sleeping with. Like I, w- I yeah. wish I was more Kanye sometimes. Yeah. I wish I had a no nickname. No filter, didn't give a fuck for, for every guy. Like I wish I could get rid of that man shit that my father instilled in me with integrity and. You gotta have code. your no. Keep your integrity, but <laughs> sometimes I wish I could act more like a bitch. We could have fun though. Mm. Like you could, you could elude and hint at like call it calm ski. Yeah, like shit like that. It's kind of like okay. Or when he comes in a room and you know that like they're currently fucking and y'all in the same room, you can kind of just like you know what I mean like look at her and smile and shit like. But I feel like that's even more sucker shit. You just gotta you gotta as just, long as you don't say nothing. Just gotta stare straight. Find poker a point. Face? Find a point on the wall. Poker face. <laughs> poker face. Yeah. Or if you're really ill. Go dap him and become best friends with him. Nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> nah, I'm I don't not even know that. you like yeah. that. Dad, I'm not doing it. Women do that. I hate when women I've do de- that. I've, de- I've women, seen men what, do it too. Oh, women? Oh, yeah. Y'all take pictures with chicks and y'all fucking this like same guy. Women, y'all get that shit off like it's nothing. You're sitting at the same table in the club. But, and they're trying to figure out who can leave early enough to get with to where you yeah. at text. Look at the games women That's play. Nasty. Like the whole night is like a game of like... Not Mario Brothers, but we got to find a name. It's like, <laughs> you trying to get to this nigga's house at the end of the night, and you know sure that you sitting next to him in the club has already been to his house. So it's kind of like, y'all playing a game to see who gets it. Mm-hmm. And who it's, it's a window. Who can send the, the where you at or what you doing text before the other one? Sometimes whoever gets there first is the winner. Oh, Because I've, yeah. I've been tired, and it's like, all right, well, she hit me first. So I'm going to say, come through. I'm not going to wait till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning for Shorty to finish in the section and get an Uber back to my house. It's too late for that. Yeah, I'm not doing I'm, that. I'm, I'm, not the, staying the, up, I'm not staying up waiting for... I'm the midnight shift. Yeah. I'm not the 3 a.m. If you're closing zones. down the club, go to, go to cafeteria and go home with the club promoter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no cafeteria slander. Don't do that. No, I love cafeteria. Can't eat there no more because I'm vegan. Because you're black. Oh. That too. They don't really... Yeah. They were, never the big, you, they were never the biggest fan of black they'll people. They'll have you waiting outside for <laughs> two hours. And COVID? Oh my God, during COVID? Like, yo, fam, come on, fam. It's 10 people in there. Yeah. Well, they have reservations. Yeah. I know. <laughs> At 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> week in advance. <laughs> uh, so what's been going on this week? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of newsy shit going on. Messy. Yeah, it's a lot of a mess. It's been, mess. A, it's been a mess out here, right? Well, I don't know why people don't just fucking relax, man. What the fuck is going on with people? I don't like, I don't like the mess as much as I used to. I don't know if that's because I'm getting older. Or maybe I'm more corny. It's, but it's some of that too. It's like, some of it's, it's getting older, and it's. I think the mess is just more like consistent these days. It's yeah. like always mess. Mess is not as fun when it's like constant mess. Yeah, like it's like you... it's just fucking crazy out here in these streets right now. Yeah, and and I'm just starting to realize like, and this is gonna sound so corny. These are people's actual lives. Again, that's like, that's part I, of it too. I, real, I know, real life and I want to joke. Not and let's being talk about celebrities now and the caring about people actual. I, one, I'm not I'm a celebrity. Not celebrity. Two, people do not, not like care about my life. P list yeah. celebrities. Three, my personal. P? You said P list. That's sick as fuck. Because we push P list is crazy. Yo, being a P. <laughs> yo, being a P list celebrity. Who else is in, in the P's though? Yeah, like I got. Give, give me my. Said it. Give me I my, gotta know my label I'm, mates. Yeah, who I'm with? <laughs> my label mates. Yeah, who's my teammates? <laughs> like, who's my teammates as a P list? Who celebrity? am I with? I'm with it. If you can give me who my my teammates are, yo. I'll I'll, I'll ride with you. I'm like, you know what? I'm a P list celebrity. I don't think I'm a celebrity at all. But P list, just tell me who else is with me. Y'all got. Adam, what you think? <laughs> I went I went to the uh, Corday show to see Black Odyssey open up and ran into two podcast fans that I took a photo with and they said we actually were walking in and we're like it would be iller to get a photo with Rory than it would with Corday so if you want to I don't know where you want to go with this mm. P-list shit niggas want to take what's, a picture with Corday? Rory before Corday what's Corday that's big and wait are we talking on a fame level or like selling tickets and numbers and like actual tangible shit uh, yo, because I know a lot of rappers that are more famous than me, but I can sell more tickets and put together a better show and more merch. Name one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Talk about that tough shit. Name one. No. They, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's fuck exactly. You don't, you don't never want to no, drop names. No. You don't want to oh, do that. Yeah, nah. Because that's like At lightweight first, snitching, but we ain't gonna do that. That ain't lightweight snitching. That's lightweight snitching to tell. To y'all me, y'all lost y'all I, I sold more records than I sold more uh, tickets than him. Like, come on, don't, don't put that man, and yeah, don't put don't that man out there like that. And don't interrupt me talking my shit with like real life facts and shit. Don't make yeah. me have to explain myself. I don't want to explain myself. Yeah, yeah, you don't like, do yo, it when the, when the A-list is be getting their shit off, you don't interrupt with facts. Mm. Three nights at SOBs, back to back to back, sold out. Who else but us? Mad. Mad, mad. Like, 
I feel like everyone. Yeah, I, I feel everyone. like Carl was just yeah, dancing shit. at a sold out SOB show. Like Carl was definitely dancing at a sold out SOB <laughs> show. He would be dancing at a sold out SOB show. Like, when do you stop chasing that dream, though, of being a dancer? Oh, you ain't going to do that to him because he ain't here today. No, no, no. Carl's my guy. But I'm just saying in general, like, if you're a dancer and, like, you didn't make it to, like, let's say your goal is to go on tour with, like, one of the biggest acts. And Chris you didn't, Brown. Okay, Chris Brown, right? Mm -hmm. And it didn't happen yet. Like, do you stop before, like, the knees and the ankles start to get weak and give out? Or do you continue to chase it until it happens? I feel like they have a, a lifespan of, like, a running back, though. Dance, yeah, it takes a lot yeah. out of you. Running back knees and dancing knees are kind of the same. Yeah, and yeah. you only you have probably a ten year window. Yeah, hips start the hips start to give out a little bit. Yeah, and, and unless Missy Elliott's making videos again, kids aren't dancers anymore. That era's gone. Now it's just bitches twerking. But I digress. I feel like he could go on TikTok and make you know, like he can divert his dream because the world evolves. So I feel like the dream can evolve. Am I? I'm showing my age here, but wasn't there a, a dance move called the TikTok at one point? Yes. It was, right? Well, I know ticking, ticking is dance. That one? What is that? Like you just what the fuck was it's the that? Clock. It's, it's the clock. Remember that, that move? It looks like it's you the just clock. banged two cocks together, bro. What are you doing? Like, How did you see that? <laughs> you holding Wait. your hand like this. And then you How had one you? up here. You had a cock here and a cock here. How, how that went? You're, I'm now I'm questioning. Mom, I'm not horny, bro. I'm, no, I'm, not I'm not even horny. horny about something. He Come said on, like this. Like, what is this? When is anyone taking two... What you're watching nastier porn than my father? Yeah. Alexis Texas has done this before with two cocks. I that was not my algorithms. <laughs> and shout out to Alexis Texas. We yeah. love her. And those two gentlemen. I yeah. hope they're okay. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, that's why I, see I was never a fan of that type of shit though. Like like running train on a girl for that reason. Like I'm not bumping cocks of... with a nigga, bro. Like that's not <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> like, we're not doing that. Like, Listen, that's I'm... that's just crazy. Like, when you see porn and, like, she be sucking two dicks at the same time, I'm like, fam, you can feel his meat on your meat, bro. Mm. Listen, I've been very Ma. Ma. open that I've never... Ma. We were just talking about dance moves. Interesting How in the fuck train. did we get to your porn? Nah, you're right, album? man. I'm sorry, but... Yeah. This was a dance move, and it... you. It's I, a clock. Tick tock. What, what, the club clock. They, what club they was doing that in? <laughs> Definitely. To Blink-182. <laughs> <laughs> You know what club. We ain't going to say it because I don't want to get canceled, but you know what club they was doing that movie. Oh Fam, you got to relax. That is not, Rory, that's not a move, bro. Y'all not going to say I'm not jacking that. It has a full rotation. That. It's just that, that I can't go stand to the full up. rotation. Fam, not my up. knees, man. What fucking club was they getting that move they off They was in? never doing that. The tick, tick, now, I'm if he's talking about ticking, that's like a... It's a clock, TikTok. Oh, that's a wasting. Ah, uh, you see Damaris? She was like, <laughs> Damaris is such a bird. <laughs> Like the bird just seeps out. Like you saw, you saw she start moving her waist. I was That's do, why. So Rory could do fucking TikTok bang. No, the that cops, was crazy. But I can't. Nah, you got your shit off. You Thank look good you. doing that. He looks that. I've never seen that. Move. I've never seen. And that you're mind. not gonna tell me that. I mean, was a you're real just move. not the culture. That's all. That ain't part of our culture. <laughs> the, 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 Who culture? Yeah, what Who culture is that? It's part of somebody's culture, not hip hop culture. The clock. What was it called? The TikTok. The TikTok. What Damaris did was the tick. I, I, I remember that. I remember the West Indian. Okay, and I talked. Nah, that move, <laughs> that was crazy, bro. Is. I don't know what that was. Um, But yeah, it's a lot of crazy shit going on. Uh, I don't know if y'all want to talk about it. I guess we no. can. You don't want to talk about it? No. Why not? No. Let's talk about and, the mess. Okay. We can get through it. Okay, let's kind of clean up the mess a little bit. Uh, We're not going to clean anything up. I want everyone to just stop trying to be the first to report shit. Because I feel like that's what a lot of the problem... Let's start at the top. Yeah, I think a lot of pages, a lot of accounts, a lot of blogs, a lot of... I think that people, because I'm not going to name individuals because I just don't want to give individuals that light and I don't want to get into a back and forth because I don't know any of y'all. I don't got no problems with any of y'all. And half of y'all are weird. But... Only I, half? Let's say half. Let's start at <laughs> half. If we, if it, it could go, it's room for Im improvement. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, that's the first thing. People need to stop trying to be the first to report on shit and be the first with the inside scoop and the first to, you know, get as many clicks because they tweeted something about a situation that's happening and everyone's invested and everyone wants to know what's going on. It's that's the game, like, though, no? Isn't yeah, that the but, game? But we're talking about real life situations. We're talking about real circumstances. We're talking about real consequences for people involved in some of these situations. And that's where I think it gets a little tricky. At. Like if it if it's something fun and, and you know, it's just kind of like you're having a good time, then okay. You can, you know, have fun with that. But when it's real shit happening, 
Like people are really in like court and people are really going through things. Let's just kind of stay away from that because that's a little like it's real people re- involved in this shit and there's consequences behind this shit. Well, I'm not going to go ahead and think that bloggers or even real some news outlets have integrity and they give, give a fuck about people's actual lives. No, but I'm just saying, even if you don't, some bloggers make sure that they do report it's weird facts to- and they do report the right shit and they do put the right shit out there. It's just the the people that are quick to jump to shit and they don't know exactly. Like they're hearing things. It's like, oh, I heard, I heard, I heard. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, but this is a real circumstance. Well, and I'm probably be guilty of doing that on my platform. Sure. Before, but that's don't believe us though. We're not yeah, gonna we're yeah, not yeah. gonna break I'm any not, news. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'll be the first to tell you half of the time. I don't even know what the UN does. Yeah, no. But yeah, it's just like that's the biggest part of the mess because that shit starts to grow legs and narratives start to take yeah. off and shit like that. It's and to me, that's part of the that's the biggest part of the problem is that people are so quick to report false shit. I I agree with you, but I, I just never expect it as well. I never expect <clears throat> bloggers, which is a, is a really weird. Uh, yin and yang of how obsessed bloggers are about other people and what they're doing but not obsessed with their actual life if that makes sense mm-hmm. they don't particularly care what happens in their life as, as long as it's something they can report mm-hmm. but I don't I don't expect bloggers it's like a, bloggers are like it's like a fucking high school paper like I don't think there's gonna be integrity with it I don't think there's gonna be anything but there should be the, there should be integrity in everything you do no? Yes, there should be. Right? It's, oh, it's I, but that's, that's in a dream world. That's not the real world. Yeah. But the the the, 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 the genre <laughs> in the metaverse. Yeah. The genre in itself doesn't have it does not call for integrity. Mm-hmm. It calls for salaciousness. So I can't I, get it. I can't expect integrity to be in a genre that is built on the opposite. Mm-hmm. It, it's sensationalism and laziness and what headline can I get up before the next blog? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's all irresponsible, but it's blogging. It's just really. I get it. And I, and I understand, you know, that's what sells and that's what takes off and that's what gets clicks and that's what, you know, but again, have some integrity in everything you do. You can have fun and you can, you know, be salacious and have headlines that are going to get people to click, but at least have some integrity with it, especially when it's a situation involving people going through real real life circumstances and real consequences at hand. Like that's 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 all. That's all I'm saying. Well, there's no uh there's no like internet committee except for like Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> like there's no penalty to misinformation. And it should be not only with bloggers. We see it with the fucking actual news, mm-hmm. which has went from straight news to opinion news and similar to bloggers who can break the next bullshit the quickest or who can make up the most mm-hmm. there needs to be some repercussions for putting out false information agree and i don't know if that means you're shut down for a certain amount of time i mean we have seen it with, yeah, certain seen ad, with ad dollars <clears throat> and and things of that nature but there is no committee with the internet that could be like yo that's bad yeah <laughs> and i there never will be because the internet is the fucking wild wild west and actually why we like it is because of that but you guys should start one the UN of the internet? I, w- I would never want to do that. The UN of the internet? The UN. I still don't know what they do, but I assume United Nations could do something on the internet. United yeah. niggas against misinformation. I, you know, I, I don't think I could be in that one, but... <laughs> United Gingers. There is a, you can't a ginger... Spell nigga without ginger. We, we know that. We've, we've checked the virus. We've researched this thing. There's a, a ginger festival uh, in June. They We're said going. you were the keynote speaker. We're going. I would be fucking honored. Are we going? Uh, <laughs> of course we are. We'll just get you a wig. We're fucking going, bro. Uh, hold on. Let me find it. I definitely thought I saved it. Ma, you're going to let me dye your beard orange? I'll do that. But what if I out you in, as a fraud? Like, you're not a natural ginger. I think they know that I'm not, <laughs> not a natural ginger. I can stand in the sun. There's black people that have natural, natural yeah, red hair. Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, Malcolm X. Seen him? Did Malcolm X have red hair? Yeah, his name was Detroit Red. Oh. I'm a pimp. Okay. <clears throat> Did not know that. Uh, the annual Redhead Festival is in uh, Breda, B-R-E-D-A. I'm assuming it doesn't give a date, but I would imagine if it's going to be outside, we couldn't do it in the summer. It would have to be a fall thing. If well, all... it looked summer in the advertisement. Yeah, but that could just be to throw us off with, with lighting. Ah, uh, okay. But, I mean, you'd have to think, that's a lot of SPF in one place. <laughs> if Banana Boat is not sponsoring that, you guys need to rethink your marketing plan. We need to go. I think that we should be there. I think that we should do a pod there. And we should talk to others. We should talk to your 
people. Brothers and sisters, yeah. I'm I just want to go there to donate sperm. Okay. Uh, um I need you to lead us to Would your sperm be considered like Dr. Pepper? No, sun sun kissed for sure. Oh. Okay. Or I'm, maybe I'm an about orange to throw up. Can can okay. you can you let us know how you got to the point that you need to donate sperm? Like can you Because take in I don't know however many years, redheads are gonna be extinct because we're self-hating people. We don't want to sleep with each other. We're just gradually going to to fade out. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So because I also am a self-hating redhead and likely will not procreate with a redhead, mm-hmm. I still want us as a race to continue on. So I could donate my sperm to whatever DNA would work to continue the, the redheads going. Okay. Okay. It's a selfless act. Yeah. To ah. be quite honest. And you're dying for your country. Yeah, di- dying for my genetics. Dying the hair, not actually dying. <laughs> You're dying for your country. I'm, I'm going to kill you in that rap battle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> spread of misinformation. Yes. Was the need- DNA on the gun or not? <clears throat> Yo. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you know what's so funny about everyone on Twitter and Instagram and all that debating back and forth and, and Megan saying stuff and all that? Court is going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> We don't need to debate. And people, a scientist will come in and be like, "Hey, this is what happened." People also need to prepare themselves for the possibility, but not even prepare themselves. We will never know what happened because we were not there. People keep saying, "Well, it's going to come out in court." You know how many people go to court who were wrongly accused? You know how many people go to get off? Like it doesn't court. It it's not called. It's the legal system, not the justice system. Like it doesn't mean that. It's whoever can prove their side the best. Mm. You don't know what happened. We were not there. We're never going to fucking know what happened. And we need to let, we really need to let that part go. Is Megan even, will she be in every court here? Because she's not charged with anything. She'll just no. be what, a, a witness one day? Yeah, probably one day she'll be a witness. Oh, was she? A, she's <laughs> like, the victim. The victim? The victim can be a good witness. That's the best witness. Hey, this happened to me. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that that's what they classified him as witness, but okay. Um, or the defendant. Well, she she's can def- choose she's a not. To, she can choose not to take the stand. Mm, okay, <clears throat> but I don't think that would help her case. And they go back April fifth, right? I think it's been yeah. pushed back until April fifth. Mm, around the time I go on vacation. By the way, I put that in the calendar. Yes, I, we uh, saw that pop up. Oh, Thank okay, you. Cool. Denied. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke to HR. It's fucking denied. I know we we find this stuff so normal now because so much crazy shit happens. But I am gonna repeat myself again. One of the biggest acts at the time, allegedly shot. Mm-hmm. One of the other biggest. One of the acts other the biggest time. act that was a woman, mm-hmm. and then went on Twitter yesterday and said, "It's only because I got good dick. I was fucking both of them." <laughs> Does anyone realize <laughs> what listen, fucking world we're in right now? Listen, and it's not, this is insane. No, and 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 I'm with you. It's not a funny situation at all. But it's funny moments after the situation, like Twitter. Tweets from both sides. I mean, it wasn't nothing funny about what Meg was tweeting. No. But Tory was having, he was having a little fun with it. And, you know, listen, if you're in a situation like that and you 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 feel like you didn't do anything and that's your stance, then I guess you can have fun with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can because you know you, didn't, you feel or you feel or you know you didn't do anything. Is it a little inventing Anna vibes with it maybe? Well, he was suggesting maybe. that. Because because Megan put out, which again, I still don't understand. You don't need to do the court of public opinion right now. Mm-hmm. No. You can just do court and then the public will decide after court. Right. Mm-hmm. You putting up text messages and Tory replying, it's like, this it's, is it, the most, the way we joke about the baby's publicist. Yeah, I'm about to say, I, I was every, literally I wanna, about wanna, their lawyers to, are probably like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Yeah, I want to I talk to the lawyers <laughs> and the publicists right now. I want to see, post those sc- screenshots of your lawyer and your public. If y'all think me. lawyers don't use the court of public opinion to their own divide, like they do that a lot on purpose. Oh, lawyers oh for shit. sure. The jury is only six people from the public. Like that's public opinion. Mm. It's the jury box. Mm. That's what people don't understand about that. Like that's the public. Mm. We, we can't have the whole world sitting in here. So we're going to pick six individuals or 12, mm. is it 12, 12 individuals mm-hmm. and have them come in here and listen to this shit and give their public opinion they're on the outside just looking at the bullshit i gotta meet you think those those jurors don't have some of them don't have social media you think some of them don't are not don't have like i don't know how old the the jurors are Mm -hmm. but you think some of them don't have uh grandchildren or nephews that 
talk, they talk to about this shit. Like, mm-hmm. like, what do you think about this? I just, I just want Kylie to get subpoenaed just for laughs. Just for laughs. That would be a fucking show waiting to happen. That's another Netflix special. That's the part two of the People vs. OJ Simpson. Absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> Stop, if y'all. Kylie, if Kylie has to come the People to court. People vs. Daystar. If, if she has to come to court, bro, it's going to be, this is going to be a bigger media event than we ever thought it would be. For sure. It's already a big event because, again, it's two of our bigger stars of our culture, two of our more talented artists in our culture, and, and a situation that we've never, ever seen in our culture. The debate about what those apology text messages that Meg posted, for those that don't know, she posted uh, text messages of Tori apologizing to her. Mm-hmm. The debate of one person saying, you're apologizing for shooting me. Mm-hmm. And then the other side saying, no, I'm apologizing for fucking both y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Does like anyone realize the world we're living in right now? No, it's fucking crazy. It's a mess. <laughs> it's insane. It's a mess. <laughs> it's like, like some people need to be sent to their corners. Go sit in the corner. <laughs> That's what everybody. used to happen. Yeah, everybody, everybody go sit in the fucking corner. Yeah, Ukraine, yeah. Russia, everybody Meg, go Tory. sit in the fucking corner. <laughs> sit down, relax, breathe. Life is supposed to be beautiful. Bill Gates just said, "Yeah, COVID's over, but another one's coming." <laughs> I just Look don't know at what man. we're going through. I, I don't know. If what he the fuck, fuck is up my on. summer, because I'm trying to redo <laughs> summer sixteen, and if he fuck up my summer, bro, you're trying to redo well, you summer know, sixteen. Would you like to share what you were doing on in summer sixteen? We all was lit summer sixteen. If you mm. wasn't lit summer sixteen, you wasn't outside. Yeah, mm. you kind of a lame. <laughs> summer thirteen and summer sixteen. If you right. wasn't doing nothing, you was like, yeah, there was something really wrong with you. Summer thirteen was a good summer. Summer sixteen was a. It was a good summer. Summer 16 was the year that work came out. Remember that year? Work? Work. work, work Rihanna? Work. Yes. I don't remember. How did oh, yeah, they, was, they was shaking if I'm ass. I'm not mistaken. They was throwing ass all summer that summer. I think, they, didn't we get lemonade? That's <laughs> Yep, lemonade that summer. We got Auntie and lemonade and views. And blonde and I feel like there was, and Life of Pablo. Blonde? Life of blonde Pablo, came yep. out in the summer? I don't know if it's the summer. I'm just Blonde came out later that year. If yeah, I'm not I was about mistaken. to say, I think it was kind of cold. I'm just but... talking about 2016 at okay. this point. But yeah, 2016. 2016 was crazy as far as music. Oh, yeah. Did we get 440? No, we got Everything. that. No, 444 was 2017. Yeah, 17. I think it was, okay. it was after. Yeah, it was after. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. And, and I think we got seated at the table in 2016. Yeah, I think so too. That year was crazy. Um, but yes, everyone needs to go to their corners. This is insane. I don't know why. Why did they push to April for this court? I don't know. They got a, I think they're getting another um, professional or scientist or whatever. I don't know the exact terminology to look at the DNA evidence. Something like that. Just gathering more information. Gathering and, more information. You know, things like that. And that's, and that's what happens when it's a case like this, a high profile case. And so He said, she said. Yeah. You got to make sure that all the bases are covered, all the evidence is in. And then you can present and defend and talk to the jury and, you know, a decision will be made. It's funny you brought up Anna. Tori might end up in ice with, with Anna. Yeah, because Yo. he was born in Canada, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's a fucked up situation, man. It's a fucked up situation. I mean, I you know, again, we've never seen nothing like this, so it's kind of like, is this real? Like, we even, like I said, even getting some of those tweets yesterday, it's like, wait, this is a real case. Yeah. Like, they're really going to court. Because it feels like this is some shit that's just like a Twitter timeline story. Like it doesn't even yeah. f- seem like some this is something order. that's yeah. yeah like they, they, they these people are really going to court. This feels like somebody that flew out to meet a girl and like it went terrible. It doesn't you know what I mean? Just, read, so just reading other, the thread. Yeah, yeah. so many of those stories. Yeah, like it doesn't feel like a real case that's in the court of law right now. Like it's it's fucking crazy. But either way, man, prayers to both sides. Prayers to you know everybody involved in that shit and to the wh- truth. Whatever. Prayers, prayers to the truth. Prayers to the truth as well. And, and prayers and to putting your, and, pray, and prayers to party. Yeah. I, I mean that dead seriously. No, no, for real. Because like, I know that he's going as if your girlfriend is going through something like that, and I'm sure they've talked about the, the situation that happened. As a man, as you know, you, you want to be there to defend your woman and you know, a man talking to her like that mm-hmm. about a situation that happened. And you know, I, I understand them emotions are high. Um, but again, everybody just, you know, let let, let what's gonna happen happen. Let things fall into the right place and let the courts handle it. Yeah. And as someone that, that has a temper, sometimes just knowing you could do it is is enough. It's not just like I know what would happen if I ran into you. So I'm cool with just that 
Everybody yeah. just... No, knowing the truth there, I can settle and be like, okay, we yeah. both know what would happen. Yeah. So let's just leave it at that. Just leave this... Everybody <laughs> Especially with something Chanel. this serious. Because, like, as a boyfriend, like, I know he... Like, his only stance should be, yo, you shut up. Don't argue with them. Don't argue with them. Just shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Everybody shut up. Get off the internet. Like, real shit, because... But, you know, it's hard for Meg, I think, because I think she... she I think, you know, like most women, she sits back. And she reads what people are saying. She about lets her. a lot of shit go. Yeah, that's why when she was getting her shit off, I'm like, I can't even be mad at you because I can't imagine having millions and millions of people giving their fucking opinion on some serious shit yeah. that happened. That's, to and that's me. what it is. I can't it's, imagine it's, that. Let's let's even for the record, let's say Tory didn't shoot her. Let's say he didn't fire a gun. Right. The fact remains is that she was shot in the foot. Mm-hmm. Right bullets, fragments, whatever it is, shrapnel, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. hit her in the foot. That's the, the the situation. Okay, so who did it? Leave that up to the courts and the lawyers to to do that. Mm-hmm. The The bottom line is she was shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know and what I mean? Everybody keeps telling her she lying. They calling her and that's, and that's Megan the problem. Smollett, Like Yeah, and that's the problem. That's the which problem. Which that right shit there. is funny, but it's, not, it's funny. not funny. Like... Right, it's not funny, yeah. but that shit the little funny. comments around it, it, it is I, like I giggle, but I'm yeah, like, you, nah, you that's have not. to because you're a human. It's like okay, y'all being y'all. This is where y'all taking this shit. Y'all being silly. I well, I definitely laughed when I saw that people were on Clubhouse uh, analyzing Megan's bone structure in her foot. <laughs> Everyone's a forensic yo. People specialist breaking now. down what's podiatrist? Podiatrist? What is the uh, the foot doctor? Podiatrist. Oh, podiatrist. The internet goes from lawyers to now they. Just like that. Nobody's, nobody went to surgeons. school for any of this. They, they know. They're nobody, Dr. Shows. Niggas Everyone's watch Dr. the whole shows now. Shows. Niggas, watch a season, <laughs> niggas watch a season of First 48 and think that they can solve any crime. Like, the well actually Twitter and Clubhouse is like, that'll butt in. Well, actually, there's 75 uh, bones in your foot. I'm like, yo, fam, <laughs> somebody block him. Somebody block him. <laughs> Listen, man. Actually, the big toe contains, like, all right, fam. It's just crazy. What do you do for a living? But that's what happens. You're an when, Amazon truck driver. That's what happens when everyone has social media. Everyone feels like they can chime in. Everyone feels like they have a voice. So that's what you leave yourself open to, especially when you're a public figure. I mean, you know, it is what it is. But either way, prayers to both of them um, and let the court and court of law handle it and, and decide what happens. Mm. It was, this, is, this is bad news. And maybe I'm late. They just blew up the Ukraine International Airport. Yo, are you serious? Yeah. And we keep rolling. Just this shit is serious and for yeah, real. Yeah, and scary. Um prayers. As much as I want to use our platform responsibly for this, I'll be the first to say I'm still educating myself on everything going on. So mm-hmm. I, I can't give everyone a, a political science breakdown of this entire thing, except for I hope for the best. That's crazy. Blowing up a whole fucking airport. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sad, man. Sad. You Let know? me move the fuck out of New York because y'all know y'all always the first to go. Politics and, you know, control and money is, you know, it, it causes you to do things such as go to war, you know? And mm-hmm. so the bottom line is control and money. And that's, yeah. a, that's a very sad thing. But again, prayers to anyone uh, affected, prayers to anyone that will be affected. Um, which we all, I think, are affected anytime there's war. Even mm-hmm. if you're not from the country, uh, I think it affects you in some way. It's going to affect people uh, financially. It's going to affect people uh, spiritually, psychologically. It will affect you. So um, press to everybody because this is a, a a war affects all people, even if it's not on your land. It affects you. For sure. Um, I guess we can switch gears. Do you guys watch the Don to Tomb show? Bingo cards. I'm sorry. We we have to talk about Kanye West. Everyone, I apologize. Um, there's a lot going on with Kanye West. We have to talk about it. There's a lot going on with Kanye. Uh, I did not see uh, episode two of Genius, uh, but um, I will. So we can talk about it. And I'm I'm pretty sure, you know, most of our listeners have seen it already. So yeah, I, I watched episode two. How was um, it? What did you think? It was great. It was, it was better than one. Um. Yes, only because you got to see the recording sessions of almost every record. Okay. And that was really and cool. And that's what we want. And that was really, really cool. Mm-hmm. Like, to go in and it's, like, the, the shit that happens in one day sometimes is insane. Mm-hmm. And I'm speaking from experience as well. I know other people, like, just, you just have days where it's like, wait, 
how did this happen? How did this happen? How did this happen? Right. Mm-hmm. Kanye couldn't, because your brother wouldn't open the recording budget. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, so that's Biggs hilarious. would not open the recording budget. Kanye West drove into a light pole, broke his jaw, and Biggs was like, I'm not spending money on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a liability. <laughs> Definitely a liability. What, what's this? He just running into telephone poles and shit? What is Kanye doing? Oh, man. Um, so yeah, gets in a post uh, accident and you know some of the the dental stuff and him recovering in, in the W because the the doctor wouldn't let him fly and mm-hmm. you know him still working through that and recording through the wire with his mouth shut. Um, but one of the days was was really interesting because Biggs wouldn't open the recording budget. He had to keep getting favors from people for studio time. Mm-hmm. So I guess Pharrell had promised him that he could use his studio. So he goes in to the lobby of Pharrell's joint and they're like, we've never heard of you. There's nothing on the books. Mm-hmm. And Kanye's like, no, nah, I just need like 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. 15 minutes. And somehow gets in and plays Pharrell through the wire and, and talks with him through that. And Pharrell's like, I had no idea that you rapped. Like, this is insane. Mm-hmm. Then he walks out of the Pharrell shit and someone's like, oh, Luda's down the hall. And he's like, oh yeah, I needed to go talk to Luda. Yeah, no, I'm here to see Luda. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, not scheming, because that's the wrong word. But I love Hustling. Watching P, yeah, really Hustling. hustle, not hurting nobody, like Hustling. finding your way into rooms, mm-hmm. like down the hall. Mm-hmm. Got the stand up first. Sure, that's not frowned upon once the artist or the person that's doing it is really talented. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, there's, it's, it's frowned upon. It's like, yo, get out of here with this shit. But when it's Kanye bringing that type of shit, you like, oh, shit. I'm glad this dude just did that. He's yeah. fucking amazing. Well, and that's, that's also back to the Twitterverse of like, yeah, I had heard stories of Kanye going into Def Jam offices, standing on desk and saying, I'm the next Michael Jackson when he hadn't put a song out. Mm-hmm. But there's also been 10,000 other people that have done that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's mm-hmm. just the one exception. And there has been 10,000 people that have lied to get into sessions and did some bullshit. Right. So that's why everyone's like, why couldn't they tell with Ye? Because there's been a million people that have done that mm-hmm. and weren't the actual genius that Kanye became. Wait, right. Neither here nor there. Wait, Kanye produced Stand Up? Mm-hmm. Really? Stand up. Yeah. Wow. I always yeah, thought that was Timberland. That's no, that was, that was Kanye. But that was, that's what I kind of thought was so ill of Kanye, like, cashing in his favors <clears throat> with people. Like, he had Scarface come in because he had just done mm-hmm. Guess Who's Bad, Can't Be Life, mm-hmm. a few other joints. And then was like, oh, Luda's down all he knows who I am because I've done a beat for him. So it, it's not going to look that crazy. Mm-hmm. And then he gets the breathe in, breathe out verse. Mm-hmm. And just walks out and then plays Pharrell more shit and then walks out the studio and it's like, all right, I got my Pharrell co-sign and I just got a ludicrous verse for my album. <laughs> right. Just in one one hallway, just by saying, yo, I was told I could be here. I remember being up at Baseline around that time when Kanye had first started coming around. Um, and he had produced, he was making joints for uh, pretty much everybody. Oh, he did uh. Not Hard Knock Life, uh, Blueprint. Mm. And at that time, they were working on Beans album. And he did a joint for Beans. And then I think that he had, I don't know if he gave, played a, a, a beat with, because that's what he was doing. He would give you a beat, but then he would also, it would come with the hook already. Mm. And he would be rapping the hook or whatever. And I remember saying, uh, I remember I told Biggs one day, I was like, yo, that dude is nice. Because at that time, we I don't think we, other than like the Pharrell's, a lot of beats didn't really come with hooks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Swizz I, was doing it. Yeah. Tim sort of. The, the, yeah. the ones. Yeah. You know, the ones that have been doing it for a while that were artists themselves. Mm-hmm. So I remember when, when Kanye, and he, he had on the, like the Durango boots. Remember when niggas used to wear Durango boots? Yes. He had the Durango boots with like the motorcycle jacket. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like- Just like one of the village people. Right. And it was kind of like people <laughs> like, everybody at baseline was Air Force Ones, jerseys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Looking the way we look, big jeans, mm. uh, rockaway shit on. And I remember like watching Kanye like just walk through baseline and go from the A room to the B room and kind of like maneuver. And I'm like, yo, this dude is, you know what I mean? Like he hungry. Yeah. And you could see it. I mean, you know, Just was the go-to guy at the time. Just Blaze was like the one that everybody was like, yo, Just, I need a joint. I need mm. a joint. I need a joint. Or Bink at the time. Timberland, of course. But I remember hearing the joints Kanye was doing and I was like, yo, this dude is nice. And I think I remember him and Jay we had a, a talk and he said something about uh, Kanye was adamant on, nah, in Chicago, you know, we gonna, you know, like we need that, we need that 808, we need that, that, that knock. Mm. 
And I think Jay told him something to the extent of, yeah, but we making music for the world, not for Chicago. Yeah. It was something like that around that time. And I think the year after that, it was like Kanye was out of here. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, yeah. It was like, all right, he's... But you could see it early. Like, mm. you could see the way he was moving and the confidence he had in himself and how hungry he was to work with artists that was at baseline at the time, whether it was Beans, whether it was the Young Guns, whether whoever. He just wanted to get joints to whoever was 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 cutting the album at the time. He flew to L.A. to give PD crack beats. That's how yeah. he got in a car accident. Yeah. He was there because he saw PD at, uh, was it One Time for PD video? Mm -hmm. And PD was like, oh, I need beats, but I have to go to L.A. And yeah. guy's like, I'll go to L.A. Yeah. And that's why he was there even with the accident mm -hmm. to begin with. Yeah. Now but, Kanye definitely, he definitely worked and he definitely hustled, but the talent was always there. Yeah. Like, the talent was always, obviously you knew this dude was talented and he believed in himself and he loved what he was doing and he this is what he wanted to do. But I mean, I don't think anybody at that time back then knew that maybe except for Kanye and mm -hmm. you know, his mom, rest in peace, believed that he would be who he is today. Like you could see the, obviously the talent, yeah. But you don't, you know what I mean? It wasn't like anybody's like, oh, he's going to be the biggest. That wasn't yeah. the feeling. It was At like, all. this dude is talented. This dude is dope. Um, and he's going to make a lot of noise. But to what he is today is, is like, it's almost like two different people almost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm but saying? But also In like the way. exact same person. Yeah. <laughs> like it's still there. You <laughs> yeah. see it. Yeah. But it's like, amplified and magnified times a million at this point. But it's still moments and things, you know, you see interviews and things and you're like, okay, it's he's still that person though. It's it's still there. It's just that he realizes that, you know, I am who I am and I got a lot of this attention and these accolades because I always believed in myself and had the utmost confidence. And being around Dame helped that because Dame was the same way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Dame just can't make beats or produce or rap as, you know, as Kanye can, but that confidence that, yo, listen, we the shit, I'm dope, can't nobody tell me I'm not, and I'm not settling for nothing, is what Kanye embodies. Yeah, and you you can definitely see in the doc the stuff that he, what rubbed off from Jay and what rubbed off from Dame. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Dame rubbed off way more yeah. than Jay did, even though it would appear like Kanye was trying to be mm -hmm. the backpacker Jay. Yeah. But it's he's Dame the entire time. Yeah, and absolutely. now right now he's Dame. Absolutely, and I mean that in a good positive yeah, yeah, yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, like people like to knock Dame a lot, uh, but uh, like he always says, he just has the utmost confidence in his crew, his artists, and the people he works for, and mm -hmm. he he fights for the people he works for, and he wants to own everything. And this basically Kanye is 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 today. Yeah, he wants to own everything, do everything on his terms, protect the culture. You know, like if we're gonna sell the culture, let let us own it at least. Like let us have the ownership. So I can't wait to watch uh, episode two though. I'm yeah, mad I like didn't your, watch your, it. Your brother's in a lot of the scenes. <laughs> Doesn't say a word per usual, but. <laughs> yeah, um, he's more talkative these days than he was back then for sure. On uh, quick, or some quick nerd shit because you brought up Baseline and Just Blaze. Um, don't cut this out. There's rap nerds in the world. Because I'm a rap nerd, I listen to this MF Doom podcast that's okay. about his life. It's actually really, really interesting. I got to check it out. Um, and one of the episodes, MC Search does it. Um, oh, dope. One of the episodes they had Guru on, mm -hmm. um, and he was saying, and tell me if this is true when you were in Baseline, your brother Hop and Guru would play Doom when Doom first came out, like in the front room or whatever it would be. I forgot how he worded it. Mm -hmm. Like the front room was for like real hip hop shit and yeah. the back was for, mm -hmm. you know, hits. Mm -hmm. And everyone at Baseline thought MF Doom was really just Blaze. Because they had similar <laughs> tones. Everyone was like, nah, it's Just. Because Just was making, uh, like, outside of, like, the hits hits that he would make yeah. for Jay, he was still a rap nerd at the end of the day, too. So he would make yeah. weird shit that Jay wouldn't take. Mm -hmm. So because MF Doom and Just, I can see their tones. Right. Someone getting that confused. So when they would be playing that, they'd be like, yo, Hop and Guru just fucking with us. That's that's Just. Yeah. Just want to be a rapper now? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I, I, I kind of sort of remember that. Uh I think I remember that being the thing. I remember Just Blaze being a super like laid back standoffish dude that just was like making fucking two way pager alerts all day. <laughs> like he made like a lot of alerts that people had on their two ways back then. Like mm -hmm. Just made a lot of them shits. And I remember he had the uh, PlayStation chain. I think I remember. Yeah, I remember the that. controller. I think he mm -hmm. had that. Um, yeah, Just was like a gamer, like a for real gamer. Yeah, I don't think I knew Just Blaze was Just Blaze. Until like he was pulling up some beats one day. You just thought he was I was like, oh, this some is guy just that yeah, played like, PlayStation at baseline. I thought he was a dude that just was at baseline working there. 
and was, you know, into video games. I didn't know he was producing all this shit. I was laughing from the Fade to Black movie when Just hadn't had a uh, a record on the Black album yet. And Jay was like, I turn on MTV and this motherfucker's just buying Nintendo games. Like I no, called Carly and said, get Just here. He has no record and he's on MTV just playing video games all day. No, nah, Just was, he was a gamer for real, for real. Like Just was a techie, you know, gamer. He was that guy with I mean, the dreads. That's when he had the long dreads mm-hmm. at the time. Yeah, Just was a, he was a gamer for sure. Baseline is legendary, man. I can't wait for y'all to do the actual real Baseline doc. Baseline Not even legendary. the Rockefeller doc, the just Baseline doc. Baseline was a legendary, legendary studio, man. Shout out to Baseline. Rest in peace to Baseline. Um, we can get off Kanye soon, but I, the Donda 2 show, did anyone watch? No, I, I seen clips of Kanye walking in a, a flood, slamming a mic into the water. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Um, but similar set to the original Donda show, but yeah. they just add a lot of water and they lit the house on fire. Mm-hmm. Um, I know this has turned into a Kanye dick riding session, but the new music sounds really fucking good. Like the new shit he played, I, I actually enjoyed. It sounded mm-hmm. very good. It it kind of reminded me, get your bingo cards ready. Oh, we already said Hove. The new content kind of sounds like if 444 didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If they didn't make amends, this okay. is Freeman. this is five fifty five. Okay. Like <laughs> this is four forty five. Yeah, <laughs> four forty five. Like yeah. she wasn't as understanding as B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you, got you. Okay, because it is very mature, adult, marriage, family type of raps, but they're just not the hey, it worked out. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's a we're really going through it type of shit. Mm-hmm. But it sounded good. It really did sound good. The Migos record too sounded really cool. The Future record sounded great. Um, well, he EP'd it. I hope his record sounds great. I'm. I don't think Kanye West is letting Future actually EP an album, and that's no knock to Future. I don't think anyone on. I mean, well, if, I don't if, even if, think he if, let Quincy Jones EP his. Album. Well, if he's if he's naming him as a, as executive producer, that's huge on a Kanye. Yeah, project. I think that's more marketing than anything. I'm yeah. sure Future is Kanye, definitely Kanye doesn't need any marketing. Let's be. 100 percent His life is marketing. His, His life, life is, is marketing. He is a market. <laughs> exactly my point. So he but wouldn't do something like yes, he wouldn't he do would. something like grab future and say your future executive producer. That is the yes, perfect person exactly to stand next to do. when you get a divorce. I don't the most that. toxic that's man exact, on earth. He just said that. he wanted to do an album with Lil Dirk. He's running around with Antonio Brown and the nigga that yeah, posts quotes, not your brother, the other one. Yeah, but that nigga is not that nigga is not Kanye doesn't when I say he he wouldn't do something like you know how Bro, you know what that does for Future's career? To say that he executive produced a Kanye West album? He already tweeted, I'm the only one that can get Kanye West on a stage, not even Hov, I'm better than him. So this is what I'm saying. Like, so he, Kanye doesn't, that doesn't do nothing for Kanye, make, saying that Future executive produced my album. Oh, it just adds more. It doesn't do nothing for Kanye. Let's be very clear about yeah, that. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. What does that do for Kanye? Because there's a younger group of kids that... Still are, love are, Kanye and are yeah, buying but everything they're, out they're, the fucking Their go-to... Is future before his yet? Not buying everything out to get. Yeah, like Kanye don't need no fucking future. They buy the rainbow. Yeah, Kanye don't need none of that. It's not, not saying about he him needs them. It's he just likes a, it. Yeah, Kanye just don't need none okay. of this shit. But All right. He likes so who does that do it. more for? Kanye or or future? Saying that it does executive. more for future, obviously, but it doesn't mean that's that Kanye saying. doesn't like doing that. Yeah, shit. that's not what we debate. It just is more fuel to add to the attention of it. Yeah, but and that's future future has the kids. That's a big fucking look though for future for sure. But future. Is up there as far as, of course, he's not icon level like Kanye West, but Future is no slouch when it comes to that's that list of That's not what I'm of, saying. Of that, that's not what I'm saying. For y'all rappers, saying that period. Kanye is doing that, doing that for marketing, I don't agree with. He doesn't need that marketing. Well, he Kanye, doesn't need any of this Kanye could have just put the burning point. houses on billboards all over the fucking country and that would have been it. Like, if this shit was going to do what it's going to do. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that. that's where Kanye is. He could just put an image of Don the two, 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 whatever that was, all over the country and didn't have but to drop a, 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 a track list, nothing. That's not Kanye West, though. He's going to do every last little thing. That's why he's so great and why his rollouts are so amazing, why his albums are so amazing, because he's going to focus on every last tiny, tiny detail and not go, well, it'll sell regardless if I just do this or not. Future's just yeah. one lobed peg in the entire rollout brain of Kanye West. No, I get, listen, I fuck with Future. Now. And think, he sounds great on the album. No, Future's, he's, but he's, He's future for a reason. He's not, he ain't no slouch. This is future. But I'm Same just saying, facts. I just don't, you know, the executive producing yeah. shit. And you saying that he may not have really executive produced it. I'm just like, well, why would Kanye do that? But whatever. There, there are games mm. that, you know, 
little knob turn, as I call it, like just put his name there, yeah, put his name sure. there. You know, I get I get that shit. I mean, he's no LeBron when it comes to putting yeah, out. Yeah. God, no. Of course. Future, I don't no. want to put there. Yeah, no. He brought Game out to do the easy record, which I fucking love. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was Game. Yo, I'm, that mask. I gotta be. What's wrong with you? What do you mean? Pause. This is gonna sound crazy. It just didn't Rory look. Rory knows Game's shoulders. It when just he sees didn't look shoulders. like Game. It yeah. just didn't look like him. Yeah, yeah. He didn't move like a blood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look at you. You are the dancer. He blood. wasn't you, doing you like blood rap move. blood rap yeah, with blood rap shit. The right? rap hands weren't Game hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. I was like, I that's you. not Game. Who is that? Sometimes yeah, you who know, like that? nah, that ain't. And even though you may not be sure, but you like something ain't right with this. That's not who I think it is. Another quick fun fact: I was listening to Juan Epstein's podcast. Sife said when Kanye used to bring out the bear. Mm-hmm. The college dropout bear shows that was Dave Chappelle in the costume. <laughs> there was a there was a part of it in the clip in the in the documentary where he comes out and takes off the mask. Yeah, yeah. that was that was Chappelle. But okay, Dave may have did not that the for, whole tour. Okay, but, but I, no, no, I, he said like the major <laughs> like the major joints because Dave would go to a lot of like, okay Philly with like yeah, bigger yeah, yeah. shit on the East Coast. Okay, that was Dave. That's fire. <laughs> that's hard. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's hard. That might have been Chappelle as game for all I know. Chappelle. <laughs> Chappelle, I've game. They've been in the gym, but like he ain't, <laughs> he ain't got game shoulders though. He ain't not. He I not do doing that. Whack one hundred. Do the knowledge. Did I ever I tell you about means. the time I was tripping and like off drugs and I was seeing everything in like that Kanye graduation? Like, like my real world was like the Kanye graduation cartoon. Like the bears, the colors, like everything. Dude, acid? Who you on shrooms? No, it was a, a, a weed gummy actually. Oh, that yeah. was not a weed gummy. <laughs> It was a, I'm telling you, that it was, was a, a tab? weed gummy. <laughs> might have been a roofie. <laughs> it, honestly, it, it might have been. Now that nah, I, you know what? You can be so high sometimes off of like THC and shit like that where you will start hallucinating. Yes. Yeah, that I've never been that high off, yeah. off weed. It was, it can. It was especially bad. Right there. Especially edibles. Because I've been crazy high off edibles before. Same. And I definitely saw like penguins like flying outside the window. <laughs> And I was like, yo, bro, what, what the you seeing? fuck? Yeah, penguins, right? It was snow, but it was snowing outside. So you that saw the Kanye of... bear, so don't, don't yeah, judge like, him. Yeah, like, you, saw, you saw the Kanye mascot. I you saw, saw Chappelle. Penguins. Yeah, like, like, come on, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got to check out uh, episode two of Genius. Again, and watch the show. The Donna show. Yeah, I'm going to watch that too. They I'm going to watch all of it tonight. They did Fabio dirty. They didn't give him any ears, so we couldn't hear shit. And most of the entire the sound system show was, was, was fuck. people were rapping over the actual songs. So he can't hear shit. And everyone's blaming on Fabio. I'm like, he's in an arena. They gave him no in ears. He can't hear can't anything. Hear what he's doing, yeah. Um, so that was unfortunate. And they brought out. I heard I, Alicia Keys sounded great though. Is that what you heard? That's what I heard. Who, who told you that? <laughs> My homeboy went to the movie theater to see that, to see the, uh, to watch the show. He actually bought tickets to the movie theater. He didn't know this was before they announced it would be streaming. Mm-hmm. So he just bought tickets to go see it in the theater. <laughs> he's in there by himself. No, nah, it was a, it was a few people in there. Uh, I mean, I'm glad they did the record. Okay. Thank you. Thank um, you so much. Did you see Euphoria? <laughs> I did see Euphoria. And Playboy Cardi was a member of Insane Cloud Posse. It was a lot was going on towards the end of that show. <laughs> he, and I don't even know who the other dude was. Listen, um, I love the fact that Kanye is able, I think his biggest strength is the fact of the, pe- the, the people that he is able to pull into the same room. That's a strength. Mm. That's a superpower. Anytime you can have Elon Musk sitting standing next to French Montana, <laughs> you're just a different type of Rory standing next to Consequence yeah like you're just a different type of, to, of, 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 of person I could do that on the farmers uh, <laughs> uh, but musically sometimes I'm just I'll be I'm, I'm stuck trying to figure out what exactly is going on and I'm all with you know taking artists from different cultures and genres and blending them with mm. this culture this genre I'm with that but sometimes it's a miss. Sometimes it's like, uh, I don't know if I would have did that. A lot of times it's yeah. a miss. Though I feel like Donda, he didn't miss in that regard. I was very nervous when I saw those names. I'm like, this might suck. It's too many young kids and Kanye. He's, I feel like he's forcing it. It sounded fine to me. Okay. Um, and on this one as well. He did, uh, and, and we can close right after this, but this is just a separate conversation. He did have something that was like kind of like an interlude. I don't know if it was a full record saying that he's no longer, or he will not buy Louis now that, Virgil has passed. passed. Yeah. Okay. And if you buy Louis now that Virgil's passed, you're, yeah. you're, you're a dirtbag. <laughs> well, damn, I'm a dirtbag because I definitely went to Louis when we were in Atlanta and bought a belt. I remember. I'm a piece of shit. Sorry, Kanye. Was Virgil dead yet? At that time, I believe so, yeah. I believe so, right? When we went to Atlanta? It might have just happened. It was in that area. But go ahead. Yeah, I think it was. 
I think it, I think he had passed already. Yes, he did. He did pass already. He did. Um, is that the first thing Kanye <clears throat> said about Virgil since he passed? Publicly? Well, yeah, of course, publicly. I don't, I'm uh, sure privately he's had plenty of conversations. I don't know. Did he do uh, the tour, the show he did with Drake? Did he say something or wear something? No, no, no. there was nothing. Nothing was mentioned, and which it had just happened. It had, know, yeah, literally. Yeah. And Drake because and he was Kanye because are both Virgil was supposed to be the creative director for that show. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. Right? Yeah. yeah, I think he I was think, supposed to be the yeah. creative director for that okay. show. I and I because I, I, I remember tell thinking that the show wasn't going to happen when mm. Virgil passed. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't think Kanye is going to be able to do this. Yeah, I assume because the timing was so quick that him and Drake both were like, let's do something proper. Mm-hmm. Let's not rush something just to do it for Virgil. Yeah. Right. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I thought that was an interesting statement and he kept repeating it for about three minutes straight. Ma, you have lights on. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Too. Thank you, Eddie. Um, But Euphoria. Yes. I'm Euphoria. caught up. Euphoria. Uh, Euphoria is a really, really great show, man. I think it's uh, very well written. I think Zendaya may be the next biggest actress in Hollywood. She is. Oh, in Hollywood, which is yeah. different. Okay. I think in Hollywood. I think she's uh, she's 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 the one. I, you can kind of see when they're grooming the next one, mm-hmm. and she's she's definitely the next one. I'll hot take it. I think she's the best actor right now. Period. The movie Malcolm and Marie with uh. Zendaya and John David Washington. Mm. We saw that then because people people killed that movie and uh I liked it. I did too. I, I like thought it that a lot. I thought did it people was great. It? Yeah, yeah, people people, people didn't like shit. it because well, a, a lot of people people don't know about film, so a lot of people were expecting it to be a movie, right? And it's not really a movie. It was it's more not... of like a, a monologue type yeah. of yeah. thing. Type it was of... it was a film and it was it was art. It was cinema it Black was and white. beautiful. It was uh, beautiful. Somebody played at NYU. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely the go Tribeca to, to Greenwich Festival. and see that at one of the theaters in Greenwich. For sure. Um, um, matinee. I killed it online when I was talking about the way she made the mac and cheese. I, <laughs> I like, forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I killed that because I was like, Zendaya, no respectable black man is eating instant craft mac A and cheese. A lot of them do. And the way, you the never way, went to college. The way John Washington was scarfing For that shit hell. down, <laughs> I was just like, oh, he, give this man an Oscar because I know he did not... <laughs> He did not fucking enjoy, enjoy that craft yeah. mac and cheese at all. He had to train for months. And I, his dad is Denzel, and his mom is you know you can tell she can she can burn in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, but Malcolm and Marie, when I saw that, I remember saying to myself like, "Yo, Zendaya is really dope. It's, like she can really, really like make you believe this character and and the things that she's saying. Like she really dives into that shit. Mm-hmm. And um. I remember saying that back then, but then with Euphoria, because Euphoria was out around that time too. I think Season was, one had happened. I yeah. Think, before yeah. That. And I and remember she was saying like- great, but she wasn't this. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember saying that shit. And I'm like, yo, Zendaya might be the one. But after this, you know, this season of Euphoria, uh, it's it's a clear no-brainer that Zendaya is the next uh, biggest actress in Hollywood. I believe she has a- an Oscar somewhere with her name yeah. on it. She she won doubt. me for a while. Um, before I watched Euphoria season one, uh, people were like, I just felt like people were hyping her up, and you know, like I'm used to the oh, she's the biracial girl in Hollywood. They're gonna try to make her a thing, and this, this, and that. And then when I watched Euphoria, I was like, oh no, wow, this girl can really act. Like yeah. she really like burns. The scene of the acting. last one, not the last episode, the one before that, the opening scene, which is the Jolly Rancher. Yeah, and she's struggling to open it and. She has snot falling out of her nose. That shit like that, you can't. It was given Viola fake. with the snot. Yeah, like you mm-hmm. can't fake that. Like that's Zendaya really had to go out and catch a cold. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like she, she or really, some heroin. Yeah, like yeah, or real. she really like shot up some dope, which I, I'm praying she didn't. But seeing little things like that to me, it shows like, yo, she studied and like mm-hmm. she's really into this role. Like she's not. You don't think that this is like bullshit. Mm-hmm tears or snot this is real shit happening that, right her entire family in that show does a real her mom the, the girl that plays her mom does a really good Great job the girl that plays well. her sister Gia well, Stor- shout out to Storm Reed a I really mean, really she good only job have, she only has to do one thing every scene just look upset and overwhelmed yeah <laughs> <laughs> every scene she's <laughs> Rory <laughs> but that take, that's a skill too though that's a skill that's a skill that's a skill we don't want to she take away from terif- my skill oh no no she's great yeah I just want them to write 
something else for her this season besides more looking range. to stress. She more range like, from her. She's great at yeah. that every single scene. She's well, just this, her last terrified. scene in this last episode where she was eating ice cream and she looked at the room and said, if you want to kill yourself, go ahead. I got to worry about my other kid. And people were like, oh my God, that's so cruel to say to a drug addict. I'm like, as you've a never person dealt with who one. knows real drug addicts. No, that's not. Sometimes, sometimes they you get gotta to that hear point. that shit. Yeah, sometimes you get, you get to, to that, that point. point with drug addicts. You're like, yo, listen, we've done all we can. Like, and I was talking to somebody about that, about when people get locked up and, you know, you start to feel, if you're locked up with them, you feel bad because you realize they have nobody coming to visit them. Mm-hmm. No money on their commissary. Like people, they don't have nobody. And I said, but that happens because the family gets to a point where it's like, yo, we've been down this road 30 times with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's not going to he help himself. He doing the same shit. Like, we're not going to keep sending him money. And, you know, it's like, bro, you keep doing dumb shit. Like, all right, go sit in there. Go so, deal with that shit. Some and sometimes point, that's where, where it comes it, it comes to that when you're dealing with a drug addict in your home, you get to a point where you feel like, yo, I've done all I can do. Mm-hmm. I have other people in the family that need me. And, and your self-preservation. You exactly. Can get in at one point. And it's also like you kind of numb yourself. Like you have to take yourself to the point where, oh, now this person that I love so much, they might actually die and they're trying yeah. to kill themselves. Let me prepare myself for that yeah. eventuality. Mm-hmm. And it sounds cold, but like it's real. It's real. And take your... If we keep focusing on this person, we're going to take out the whole family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take myself out, overstretching, trying it's, to. It's get affecting this everybody. Shit. And then, because I know, let's not even say drugs. I know siblings that have had, I'm sorry, that have had siblings that are like manic depressive, bipolar, everything. Mm-hmm. And the family just, just focuses on that person mm-hmm. and neglects all the other kids. And the other kids end up fucked up too. Because right. it's like they literally had no parents because mm-hmm. everyone was just focused on this this child that was going through something. And it's, sometimes you have to cut the cancer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's what it comes down to. Got to cut the cancer and, you know, move forward with what you have and with what is healthy. Mm. And that's just the bottom line. But yeah, shout out to Zendaya. She's doing an amazing yeah. job. Her comedic timing in the serious moments. Yeah. She's <clears> like fuck. That's part of being a great actor. I know what so I'm saying. She's fucking she's, incredible. She's incredible. <laughs> Zendaya's a man. She's, she's, a, she's, she's an amazing funny. actress. Um, but yeah, the last, the last episode was good. I'm looking forward to the, to the season finale. But they did. First of all, who gave the budget for that play? Who's fucking school? I know, right? The like the budget was insane. That yeah. it was, it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I, and Sam Levinson, who's yes. the writer and director, because this is one of the best shot shows I've seen in quite some time, outside of the obvious, but the writing. He did um Malcolm and uh Malcolm Mary and Marie. Too. Yep, or Marie. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yep. Um, so I kind of see and hope that him. And Zendana stay together through their career. Like, yeah. I hope they kind of become that type of fucking De Niro and fucking uh, Scorsese type of shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, they just continue to work together. A lot of actors and d- directors and producers do that. Yeah. Spike Lee is the most famous for that. He's had people in his first movie all the way up until his last Oh, movie. yeah. Some no. of the same mm-hmm. character uh, actors, actresses. Because uh, you start writing... I feel like as a writer and as a director, you start writing roles for this person. Like, I know this person will fuck this role up. Like, I know they would kill it. Mm -hmm. So let me create this with them in mind. And then then it gets to a point where as a director and an actor, y'all develop this chemistry and this synergy where you already know how I want you to say this. You already know how I want you to do this. So it's like you don't waste time with trying to get somebody to understand the lines or how how to bring the lines to life. Which why which is why Spike Lee has been amazing at that. Like Spike Lee doesn't get enough credit, I think. Honestly, I thought about that a couple of weeks ago really? when I saw him. Yeah, I don't think Spike Lee gets the uh, like in that world he does. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about from the fans and from people that the moviegoers and stuff like that. I don't think that people give Spike the. Uh, it's kind of like with um with Quincy Jones to me with music. I think a certain era does like the, the average person that listens to music and you know well it's a different like he's a different era yeah like, but even in eras I think that because there's, there's there's certain people in culture right and there's certain people in in uh, entertainment and stuff that I feel like we should never lose sight of mm. and their contributions and what they did and I feel like and again it's a generational thing I think that more and more people are forgetting about Spike and don't really like a lot of people just know Spike Lee as an avid New York Knicks fan. You know what I mean? Like they don't really <laughs> okay. know. Well, those are those are young people. Right, mom. but but even as a young person, you should know 
if you're watching uh, certain films, like if you're a fan of Snowfall, if you're a fan of uh, Power, if you're any of these black uh, shows in our culture that we love and we, we, we watch every week, I think that you can't truly love those shows and have respect and appreciation for those shows without having love and appreciation for Spike Lee, John Singleton. Uh, yeah, but who's going to teach them that? That's the thing. Yeah, and, well, and it's th the weird thing about entertainment is you're entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's not to be studied unless you're like in a, that like realm, a you, nerd. You want to be mm -hmm. a cinematographer. You want to be a cinematographer, director, things like that. So many people watch and listen to things so they can shut off the world in which they need to actually learn and like, yeah, but actually operate and know everything and and be productive. It's so the average consumer I can see just not giving a fuck as long as the show is good and they're they're hit with so much. This is the most influx of TV and entertainment ever. Mm -hmm. So to even try to sit and appreciate something to the point where let me go figure out who directed this, I can't see an average person ever doing that. We'll do that. Yeah. And like with Spike, when Spike was really at his peak, there wasn't 10,000 movies coming out every single day. Mm -hmm. Like you looked forward to, you knew Steven Spielberg was doing something every mm -hmm. two years. Like you, you really anticipated and waited because there was time to appreciate and figure out, oh, who did this? Oh, I recognize how that shot from the last movie I saw. Now it's just, you're hit with 10,000. I can't even keep up, let alone know who directed it. <laughs> Three of your favorite movie directors. Uh, Martin Scorsese, for sure. Hmm. That's a good question. No Tarantino? Um, I'm not the biggest Tarantino fan. I know it's kind of blasphemous. I'm just not, I, I don't know if it's a, a personal thing. It is personal. I just don't you like watch him. Movies and what you like is personal. No, too. no, like a, him as a human being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you forgot what? No, I've never <laughs> met him. It's great, man. He just uh, he just reminds me of of someone that just because he says the n word or has said the n word. Well, no, I've I've met Joe Rogan before, so mm -hmm. and I didn't do anything. So okay. <laughs> that's that's not what's gonna <laughs> stop. <laughs> right. Uh, no, he just looks like that person that like hides kids in his basement, like. He has a, I stand off in the window and jack off face. Yeah. While the kids are like. Like, I feel like when the Harvey a, Weinstein shit happened, he was probably like, well, let's hear him out. Like, I feel like he's one of those. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, his movies are so sick in the head. And while I can appreciate sick in the head art, I'm scared that it's really what he'd be doing in his life. <laughs> and I'm, I, I, Quentin, I apologize. I just called him a low key pedo. I didn't mean to. <laughs> But he has like the pedal. He has the pedal vibe. He, does, he, does, he doesn't have a beard, right? Or a no. mustache. He doesn't have no, a mustache? No, no, he doesn't. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like if you don't have a mustache as a man, I feel like you shaved it all off and you're hiding something. And he's a <laughs> fucking thief. Like right? all his movies he stole from someone else. Yeah. So I don't know if I could put him there. I, I know that's blasphemous to the movie world that I'm just not a big Quentin Tarantino fan. But Are we canceling Quentin right here, right now? Because I'll do it if you're doing it. I mean, if you're canceling a white person for using the N word, <laughs> Quentin is first first ballot Hall of no, Famer. He leans, he leans into that word. God it, damn it, Samuel, you're not saying it right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say it like this. Fair. Put some more funk on it. He he would have the KKK going like, though you are using this yeah, word like you're going too, crazy. Yeah, you we wilding. don't even talk yeah. that way. <laughs> like, Yo, the KKK tells verbiage. somebody you wildin'. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you're going crazy, sir. We we were not doing that back then. Uh, oh my God. I'm a I'm a I'm a Scorsese guy, uh, which is the obvious, but he's he is really one of Spike Lee, uh, and Guy Ritchie. Okay, I'm a huge Guy Ritchie fan. Oh, okay. I love Guy Ritchie movies. I'm a huge Guy Ritchie fan. Yeah, that's a good question. I really have. To, I wish you would have asked me that earlier. So I could think about it. And obviously John Singleton, of course, Boys yeah. in Hood, Menace. Obviously not. John Singleton. Yeah. I'm going to add Rest David in Yates in there as well because I'm a nerd. Good one. And um, he directed all the Harry, well, almost all the Harry Potter movies. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. All right, well. Rory, you, can Perry you see here? yourself? Tyler Perry? I, I, I hate Tyler Perry movies. I'm not going to say I'm not a Tyler Perry fan. I respect Tyler Perry. I think his story is, is one of one. Um, I think obviously his uh, work ethic is incredible i think his heart is amazing i think his mind and Yo, his morals. all right we get it everything's good no you got i'm just nice feet. no 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 good. Like, you nice just feet. you complimented the every single good. thing on him except for his directorial skills which is what no, we're talking I'm about i'm just saying I, i'm i'm getting to that damaris i'm just saying i think he's uh you know he's done great films and great movies i just think that some of it is a little too 
uh, it magnifies black trauma a little too much. That's all. Like certain movies is like, I know we got our issues in our families, but God damn. Like all of this happened at the, the Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, Jesus Christ. Like I get it, but come on, man. Mm-hmm. Like some black families have their shit together, Tyler. Like, you know what I mean? It's not all black families are not dealing with all of this type of shit. Like Jesus. But anytime you open up a lot like that in, in black Hollywood, which is Atlanta and, and open up your, your space to other black creatives, I got to salute you and thank you for that. So, Roy, could you ever see yourself being a director? I know you get no. into like your writing bag and your acting bag. No, I I would never put anything out. I I learned. I'm a director as well. I, I don't know. If I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sure. wait. I'm gonna wait for it. Mm-hmm. Let it breathe. Never mind, yep. man. No, 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 because, like, yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, I know feeling like going. y'all don't be like you know what I'm saying like like fucking with my goals and my dreams. Like you one of them friends where you be like friend, congratulations on your promotion. Yeah, I got a raise too. No, I'm just saying. I'm, <laughs> I I I was trying to be funny with what I've directed. But I know, we, no, we got it. We got it. Sorry. Oliver Stone, I like. Nothing that is up there for me. Oliver Stone? Yeah. He's nice when it comes to directing films. Don't look at me in my eyes and tell me Oliver Stone is nice. He's nice. When he comes he to nice directing. He's nice with it. He's nice with it. Top five that are alive. Just off one LP. Oh, my God. All right, when are y'all going to have y'all battle so I can know, so I can put it in the schedule? A uh, rap battle? Yes. Um... I mean, if you need time to prepare. Ooh. Listen, I'm right here with it. Listen, Mom, man. I asked you a question. I do, I do not need time to what prepare. What about Thursday, February 24th? Ooh. I, I do not need time to prepare for a rap battle, but I will say that I need, I don't, I'm not in the, I'm just not motivated right now. Mm. Uh, like I'm not, I, I'm, yeah, I'm like busy, like really living life and shit like mm. that. Gotcha. So I'm not like, I'm not even thinking about music and like rhymes and shit like that right now. I mean, I always thought you could battle on the spot when you got it like yeah, that. Nah, but. I mean, you know, I'm just not motivated, man. Mm. Like just right now, it's nothing that really is like motivating my pen right now to really like. So Rory got this you first. Nah, because you know, you know, the monkey can't look the lion in the face. You got to remember that. You Which know what I'm saying? I never heard that. So like you can throw stones, before. but I don't got it. Like it's like it's, it's kind of like what we were just talking about. It's kind of like when you know, like come on, man, I'm not gonna do that. He said you're a pebble and he's kicking rocks. I didn't. I'm not gonna I didn't use say that. If that. That's the bar. <laughs> if that's the bar <laughs> you're gonna use, I, then I promise I, you, I don't know what the I'm, fuck Aiden is talking about. I never said that. Like I didn't say nothing that, about that's your man that's gonna be behind you in the battle no, finishing no, your lines no, no, for no, you. No, 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 no. I, I went on stage by ourselves. I don't mm. like the crew. I don't do crew shit. I got Demaris. I just sent De- uh, Demaris mm-hmm. two bars the other day. Like that, going at her or just like to no, no, hold right on? He didn't even text my phone going at me. Yeah, I thought nah, I said you just texted Demaris. I already like, cleaned her up with the the orange man bar. The Syracuse. All right, oh, come yeah, on. She's done. She's All been right. dead. She's on the team now. Oh, so, so you Warned killed her. Warning me, I'm not, now I'm not on his team. So you he killed her in. and then now you like, yo, I'm I'm riding? You got blooded in? What's uh, yeah. That's crazy. The moment I get some time... You got both. I'm coming for both of y'all. <laughs> but all right, guys, I think, I think that's it. Yeah, because that bar, I could flip that too. You keep going. <laughs> you, keep, that, that, you keep going. That Noah's Ark bar I sent her? Yeah, you could tell when Rory get a bar that he really like. <laughs> he hold on to that motherfucker, don't he? He be like, yo, Noah's Ark, Syracuse Orange, man. Like, yo, come on, man. You don't even know the bar or the scheme. It was a, oh, it was a whole scheme. Mm-hmm. Listen, around what? He, no, now I gotta hear. He it. really white, right? He really coming for you, and you not even prepared. Like. Oh, it's a it's a bar directed at me. No, but I can make it about you. Oh, okay. Well, let's hear it. No, I'm not gonna. No, no. can't go there. Oh, okay. See, because you scared. Oh. I'm not scared. I'm just not the culture. Uh, it just hasn't been motivated. The co- Yo, it's a lot going on. Like Russia and Ukraine. You tripping. got a white man dissing you in Black History yeah, Month, and but you it's ain't like, popping shit yeah, but pussy. But like, yeah, but it's like you know, just Vladdy tripping right now. So my mind ain't even really uh, on you that. One of those. You know what you I'm saying? Those, like, Ma. if Vladdy ain't trip like that, I would have had bars ready. Is that what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, like Vladdy bugging out right now. It's like, yo, come on, son. What we doing? Some Why, of, always battlers from Harlem. Always ducking. Mm. You Mook. Wow. Damn. I ain't seen Mook. Not Mook Maul. Everybody. Mook has never Murder seen Maul. Mook's my favorite battle. I can't let you get that off. Mook has not ducked everybody. He's, he's battled everybody. He's, he's done some ducks. Who? He's battled everybody he was supposed to battle. Yeah, man. When you're ready to battle, just let me know. Stop ducking. Yeah, man. I'm going um, you know, to find some motivation. I'm going to go you know, look at a couple movies, listen to a couple albums, man, and find the motivation. <laughs> I got to dig 
dig deep into my hip hop uh, ancestry. I could battle any time, so. Yeah. But that's why you're going to lose it any time, too. Oh. If he knows the scheme, I could have just off that one quick bar. When I was writing, I was writing some R&B music and just a quick one popped in my head. Oh, oh I'm going to smoke you. You can't bell bib the your way out of this one, bro. Listen. Yo. Wow. Damn. When, when, he, when I get into the scheme, I don't even want to give it to him. Yeah. You didn't know a thing in your character arc. Oh, I could, I'm going to destroy you. See, yeah. well, once I get into aren't you emotional, or, yeah. or, 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 or the orange is emotional. Like once I get into all of that, yeah. wait, hold like, on. Come on, who, man. Who said I don't? The that's so obvious. Really I'm gonna be rabbit that one. You know I'm already saying? have a scheme you for it. <laughs> I'm gonna be rabbit. Are you crazy? Yo. <laughs> you gonna bring oranges on stage? Yeah, like, yeah, like man. what you thought? <laughs> that's too obvious. Orange, you I love it. I love it. Yeah. Come on, man. Listen, man. Don't you know what I mean? Don't wake the lion, man. Let the lion sleep, man. I'm telling you. I, all right, people. We'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning in. That's it. We done. Dawn FM. They kicking us off. They wrapping us up. They got the wrap up light on. Yeah, clearly. Damn. All right, man. Well, shit. Uh, what we got going on this weekend? I know we got the battle that happened already. When you, when they're hearing this, the battle was tonight. We're on Caffeine TV. Uh, sneaker battle. Me and not Rory. a not a rap battle. No, that'll sneaker. be on Caffeine as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all we get that Caffeine yeah, back. That's for sure. Y'all doing a lot of uh, battling recently. Uh, What's going on? Are we? Yeah. What other battle? We battling did? sneakers, battling each other. No, nah, that that battle didn't happen. Yet. This sneaker battle, uh, Smoke presented it to me, um, and then I think Rory had told me about it too. But I think I, I thought it was something fun for Rory and myself. I thought I thought it would have been better if me and Rory battled somebody else. So that's what I originally thought it was when Hovain yeah, Rory hit didn't me. know we was battling was each like, other until like, like two days. Like, ago. Yo, you and Mom want to do the sneaker thing? I was like. Yeah, of course. I got more on my team. I yeah. can just sit in the back and, and yeah. chill. Yeah. <laughs> Get on your camp. Yeah, yeah. I just gotta be chilling. <laughs> more coming with all the shit. And that, then I found out I'm battling him. I'm like, I'm going to lose. <laughs> no, but but Rory has. I like the angle that. Yeah, that, I went. Yeah, I like the angle that Rory's coming with. I like his angle. Like I, his, it's him. It's like and and we can have fun with it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I I, I think I think it would have been better if me and Rory battled. Like, I don't know, Desus and Mero, maybe. Yeah, yeah it'd be great. Yeah, they like, got money now. They might have cleaned y'all up. Ain't nobody cleaning me up. You got me twisted, D. Not with sneakers. Because I'm not even... A, the thing about it is I'm, I don't even consider myself a sneaker head. Like, I think sneaker heads are people that know when shit is dropping. Uh, they, they um, you know, they go after certain things. Me, if I see shit that I like, mm -hmm. I just get it. I don't, I don't know how yeah. prestigious they are to the culture. Most of the time, I don't know how, when they dropped. Like, the Jordans, I don't even know the numbers of the Jordans. Like, mm. I call Jordans. I'm like, yo, you know the ones that I refer to a movie. Like, you yeah. remember he had those on in the movie? And they'd be like, yo, those are the sixes. I'm like, mm. oh, okay, I don't know. So I'm not a sneaker head, but I do have a lot of sneakers. So cleaning me up is not something that's going to happen. When I went through my closet, I realized I'm definitely not a sneaker head because I wear them. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's I, another can't, thing. I can't bring these on to Complex. <laughs> yeah, like, no. <laughs> They're dirty. And dirty. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, I wear my sneakers. I'm one of those people. I wear my sneakers. I'm definitely one of those people, especially when you start moving and you have to go through your sneakers and you start seeing sneakers that you haven't even looked at in six years. Mm. It's like, all right, this is getting a little excessive. Like, I got to relax. Who's battling uh, Clark Kent? <laughs> uh, Nike. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, not me. Uh, the whole brand has to? Hmm. Maybe... Somebody like Wale? I was just about to say, Loki, I think Wale might be the only one that could Wale, do it. Wale. Uh, Smoke Diz has a nice collection as well, too. That's true. Uh, Currency has a nice sneaker collection. Fat Joe, Fat Joe and Clark Kent. That's what it would be. I never... Is Fat Joe a sneaker collector? I never knew. Oh, is he a sneaker collector? I never knew. Khaled, too. Fat, Khaled has a nice sneaker... But Fat Joe I, has a serious... Okay. Serious sneaker collection. Like, he has pieces, I think, that like one of one. Oh, shit. All right. Well, yeah. Fat Joe, uh, PJ Tucker obviously mm -hmm. is a is one of the one of the sneaker heads, the sneaker heads. Fat Joe, PJ Tucker, DJ Clark Kent. I think those are the, the yeah. guys. I'm I'm missing somebody. They're gonna kill us for oh, missing somebody for obvious. Sure, but for I'm sure. not a sneakerhead. Um so but yeah, those are the guys that I can think of off top. Fat Joe, Clark Kent, uh, Wale, Smoke Dizza, and yeah. Rory, you ever got a, a New Balance like partnership? I tried. When me and Benner were going through your closets looking for the tequila, like we found like the hall of fucking New Balances. Oh no, I was because like, I, I hate to sound like that person. The only claim that I have with sneaker shit is I was wearing New Balances, and I, everyone from Baltimore and DC <laughs> fucking relax. I get it. I know y'all yeah, been New wearing. York, New York was wearing New Balances for a long time. 
I was everyone used to clown me because I'd always have a different pair of New Balances on. Mm-hmm. I always loved New Balances. Yeah. And now, and now everyone speaker. is wearing fucking New Balances. Actually, which uh, I'm fine with because it just makes more collabs and more shit New Balance is doing. So I'm not that guy that's yeah, salty like, just, oh, now, now y'all want to wear them. No, keep wearing them. Because why do I have New Balance is doing stock, doper shit now. I got to yeah. go on StockX to find certain pairs of New Balances. That's a fucking annoying. Yeah. But no, I, I, I talked with New Balance. It was the first time I've ever seeked out a brand. Because mm-hmm. I think that's corny. Like, yo, we should... Well, yeah, he actually mocked up a dope ass sneaker for, for us. Yeah. A Rory Mall New Balance. That was really, really? dope. Yeah. They they send me stuff, but they never wanted to do anything. Like for my album, I wanted to do slides, which I'm making, mm-hmm. but I wanted to do them with, with New Balance. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, it's not, not for us. I'm like, all right. They, fuck, don't, fuck they don't get it yet. They, they don't, don't see get it. it. Yeah, they they see will. The they will. Hennessy made that same mistake. Yeah, they did. Yeah. You are you are currently on air, sir. I'm on air right now. You are on air right now, and it's perfect timing because Maul and I are doing a, a complex sneaker battle tonight, and oh. I, I brought seven pairs of just your sneakers. <laughs> oh damn! What, what, what you gonna wear, Maul? Uh, I got a few pieces. I got I got a few uh a few. Pe- I didn't bring any of your pieces though. I'm sorry about that. But Rory Rory bought some of your pieces. Uh. But we're gonna have some fun though. We're gonna have, I got I got I got I got some pieces that's gonna shake 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 the room up a little bit. I'm honored to be on the show. What's the topic? What are we talking about? Just bullshit. If, if talk about be... how you how you how you are killing the sneaker game and how uh New Balance needs to uh take a meeting with us and create a sneaker. Actually, okay, you should you, you should create our sneaker. sneaker. Well, we're in yeah. LA twice in March if you're gonna be out there. Yeah, I'm around. Yeah, let's let's set up the actual official sit down joint. I definitely let's want to do that. Let's mix it up. Let's do it in nature or some shit. Let's no, change it up. For sure. Fire. No, we definitely want to do that. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll text you and, and hit me tomorrow. Shoes? Let's let's get up. All right, you guys want to give me a beat so I can give him a quick 16 before I go or should we just leave it? Nah, a- Acapulco. <laughs> <laughs> I already tore them all up. I already tore, tore the Maris up. Yo. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bro. Peace. All right, peace. Shout out to Salehi, man. Super, good, super, super cool guy. For sure. And he's fucking up the sneaker game right now. Absolutely. I just... What do I gotta do to get the cool stuff that y'all you guys do? Gotta be cool. I'll tell Soleil. Oh. <laughs> I'll make sure I I'll oh, make sure Soleil sends you some new balances. Th- and that's why I fuck with Maul. Now I'm on Maul team. I'll make it, when it now, comes now to that. That's all I gotta do. Look, nigga, give you some sneakers. Look, she right here. <laughs> now I'm on Maul team. That's fine. Just, <laughs> just more schemes, more schemes to, to tear you up with. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Shout out to Soleil though, man. That's my guy. Super good guy. Yeah, and um I'm glad we just had a quick call because I want to do the proper sit down. With him and really go through everything, hey, but he's gonna have us actually hiking, not like Runyon Canyon Instagram pictures. Oh yeah, no, he's no. gonna have us like on yeah, a mountain. No. It, this is this is this the shit we want to do. Thank you for tuning in to New Rory and Mall. Uh, be safe this weekend. Uh, prayers again to Russia and Ukraine and anybody that will be affected, which is all of us. Uh, prayers for world peace and everybody who didn't get their uh, Kanye album on the stem player. Prayers to those people as well, because I'm pretty sure your weekend is fucked up behind that. <laughs> Uh, Your weekend but, should not be fucked up because the Kanye album. If I, I mean, spent two hundred dollars on something, some people's in the fucking weekend album is fucked up behind that. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back uh, next week. Until we meet again. Until you hear us again. Until we meet again. Be safe. <laughs> have fun. Don't do nothing we wouldn't do without tweeting us about it. And um, always remember, you can't spell ginger without nigga. Send news. No worry, and